Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Philanthropone, and I'm back with another brand new VR game here called Boiling Steel, which is made by the same people who brought us Guns and Stories Bulletproof. If you remember that Western game, I'm using the Valve Index controllers for the first time in a while because in the screenshots, I saw fingers, I saw hands, and I thought maybe it'll have tracking, finger tracking, but not only does it not, at least so far, have finger tracking that even closing my grip does not close the grip and you use the trigger to close the grip. So now I'm a little bit worried, but we're gonna try this out, so let's go. Welcome, rookie. First time in the Pioneer program? Strange feeling, huh? <laughs> Your body is in a capsule at the orbital station, and your consciousness is here, in a steel shell. Heh, <laughs> relax and don't jerk. Listen to me and everything will be just fine. I understand you've had a long flight, and your body is still in hibernation. But we have a situation here, and Command uses all available resources. There are jumps in neuroactivity on your monitor. Never teleported before? <laughs> Don't be afraid, Junior. When people and animals teleport, their bodies die. But your consciousness has been perfectly preserved in a robotic shell. You already heard the breaking news. The Radicals launched a virus on our networks, and this rubbish beat the pre-installed programs for the robotic shells. As the new foci of infection, these walking pieces of iron behave aggressively and kill all living things. But the situation is under control. There is an active stripping phase underway. Under the Pioneer program, all the free inhabitants of the colony have been mobilized. Even children help with the evacuation from infection zones. And our construction team was put into circulation. We are not soldiers, but who cares? There are not enough military avatars, so we will use the shells of the engineering corps. They're only armed with a tool for construction work, but I will configure it for an extreme type of work. A nail gun on overdrive is better than a machine gun. <laughs> Your task is simple. Destroy infected robots and follow my instructions. Alright. Engineer turned military combatant. The Pioneer program is good, but its interface is still unfinished. Your consciousness can only control the movements of the head and hands. The legs and torso are controlled by the pre-installed walker driver. Pay attention. You should feel two controllers in your hands. In fact, they are not there. This is a software crutch. But it will help compensate for the shortcomings of not having a body. To move, use the stick or touch screen on the left controller. To rotate, use the stick or touch screen on the right controller. Get used to shell management. All right, that's a good sign. They speak of a stick. Well, that's it. We assume that your week-long shell piloting course was completed. You still need to pass the exam, but then you are admitted onto my team. Just follow the lighted path. So here we go. Good speed. You don't want to get motion sickness. Go to the portal. And the right stick is to snap turn, it looks like.
This is the crash test section of the assembly plant. But now it works like an obstacle course for beginners. Make it through, and we'll consider the robotic shell operator certificate in your pocket. You can use highlighted objects. The interaction algorithm programmed in your shell will take care of the rest. Try to remove the barrier and open your passage. Bring the manipulator to the lever on the wall. When you feel the vibration, click the trigger to activate the interaction algorithm. Uh, oh. I thought I was gonna have to insert like a battery or some generator thing. Now you need to master the dash. This technique will help your shell keep in good shape. To make a snatch in the right direction, move there and press the activator on the right controller. If you press the activator without moving, the shell will dash backward, which may just save your life. to it. Sweet. Everything is simple here. Pass this corridor without touching the lasers. Use movements and snatches. And try not to be stupid. I have people just like you. Two dozen newcomers. They also need to be trained and coordinated. Okay, so can I dash through this stuff? I don't really need to. Just gotta, uh... Take it slow here. So far, so good. Oh, let's get fast. Oh, I might have to. Can I dash here? Oh no! Oh, oh what? Oh man. Let's find out once and for all. Can I dash you this stuff? No, I can't. Ah, junior, seven-year-old children can go through this labyrinth faster. But somehow you passed. So, that's okay. Oh, okay. You failed too many times and it just lets you go by. I was nearly there anyway. I don't really care. catch a hit in the firing line. And now the trial by fire. You snatches to pass the corridor when the turrets are reloaded. You snatch? Oh, sna what is snatch? I know dash, but he's mentioning a snatch now. And there it says dash. I just tried dashing. Oh, it's just to get your stuff to wait. Okay. Just to get by quick. This is the last test. Pull the lever and use a series of snatches to get through while the door is open. If you hesitate, you'll crash into the sash and start over. All right. Get to the point, Sprog. Follow the bridge to the portal and don't be afraid of rain. With such an operator, the shell will blow up before it becomes rusty. <laughs> For this mission, you will need two tools. A plasma welder and a multifunctional arrester. Try to use them. Just in case, I will show you an operating manual. Hold both grip buttons and pull out the projection of the instrument. Just pull the manipulators to the sides and the tool will teleport from the warehouse straight to your hands. Don't be afraid to lose the instrument. 
You can get a new one at any time. Tool stores are full. You won't live long enough to exhaust them anyway. <laughs> to throw away the instrument, release the grip button on any controller. The spent tool will be returned to the storage repair conveyor. Oh, so you have to press that. Mm. A little funky on the index. Oh, you pick it, okay. So we want that one. There's two different ones. I don't know which one it wants actually, but I know how to do it. This one does. This compartment is isolated. The gateway is de-energized. Look for a switchboard with a backup power. The switchboard is sealed. Cut off all fillings with a welding beam. Oh sweet, I get to use a tool. Which the switchboard is, is sealed. Is Cut thing? off all fillings with a welding beam. The switchboard is sealed. Cut off all fillings with a welding beam. There we go. The switchboard is sealed. Cut off all fillings with a welding beam. Ah, the backup battery is off. Take the discharger. Direct the discharge into the switchboard's absorber. Charge the battery to the limit. Oh, it probably just wants me to use the other uh, tool. Charge it. Yeah. yeah. All right. Pull the gateway lever and hope there are no aggressive shells. This is the energy complex of cold electricity. The reactor is shut down because its radiation attracted infected shells. But now, the staff have been evacuated. We need to start the reactor again to attract all robots in the area. Pull these bastards away from other objects and put them all together in a heap so special forces can kill them with one blow. Mm hmm. High voltage, it looks like I'll need... Oh, do I actually put these in the slat? Oh, jeez. Oh, it looks like it could go in. It snaps in, you know? I don't know. The reactor zone is blocked. The control terminal is located one level higher. Look for the stairs leading up. Alright. The device is de-energized. Find the switchboard. Um, I saw the... Another switchboard. Open up and charge it. Terminal disruptor batteries are also empty. Uh, you know what to do. Charge them all. See, it's got like a meter right there, but it looks full. 
Oh, there. See, look at that. It goes down. The energy pump for the reactor has been started. The central terminal's power has been restored. Use the start lever and wake up the reactor. Okay. Let's go over here. It's getting thick. Can you feel it? Now we're going to have a party. On my scanners, I see thousands of aggressive robots, and they're all running towards you. Get back to the portal. Now! What? Junior, return to the portal. It's back down here, right? Main door. Come back! Get your butt to the portal. Junior, return to the portal. Get back! Uh oh. This is not the time to be heroic. We still have a lot to do. I blocked the gateway. This will delay them a bit, but let's find another way. Bingo! There is a technical portal under the reactor. Get down and find it. That's the one I thought the entire time I had to go to. Eventually. Oh, beware discharges. We still need this shell. Go down, use the elevator. The gateway is destroyed. The bastards broke through. I suggest you hurry. The portal will be active for only a few seconds to make sure infected shells don't have time to pass through. Jump into the portal! Hurry up! Doing it. This is a Cyber Lab server room. The first aggressive shells appeared here. The complex carried out evacuation and cleaning. There should be no enemies. But of course, that's not accurate. So, I prepared the overdrive firmware for your tools. In overload mode, they will not work for long, but will turn into slaughter kajiggers. Your task is to find and destroy the infected servers in this block. Move your iron butt.
Wow! This is your first dead robot, Junior. Big bastard. Ah, uh, don't worry, they disappeared. Teleportation modules are on all shells, which transfer bodies with critical injuries to a repair station. There, we accept and deactivate them all. Move on, and be on the alert. There may be other aggressive shells. You are there, Junior. Destroy those servers. Back to the portal. Listen, Junior, I have a personal assignment for you. My ex-wife is asking for help. Families of engineers on the science campus are locked in their homes by a security system. But robots can open those armored clamshells. So, you need to help these highly skilled Doesn't that seem strange to you? The Cyber Laboratory is developing combat programs for shells conducting experiments to create artificial intelligence. And the first cases of infection occur right here. But yet the radicals are to blame for everything. Oh, my artificial heart feels something is not clean here. All right, I'm back. That'd be funny if they had a teleport to dungeon entrance feature to get to the teleport. Yeah. I am loading you with new tools with combat firmware. Go and destroy all the aggressive shells.
What are you waiting for? Crush them all! Oh, this is... What is this? Like a flare gun? Okay, we know like that gun. Do I have to click again maybe to, to, to ignite it? Oh, I don't want that. I don't understand. I need a tutorial for that one. So, oh, is it to shoot explosives? Good start, Junior. One family is safe, but it's too early to relax. Go to the next house. Can I do a little bit of this? Yeah. Well, if I don't see one of those right from the get-go, I might as well just... I feel like I'm supposed to be using that other weapon for something more, because it's like brand new. I've been, I've had this thing before to charge the battery stuff. That's what I should be doing to avoid these bullets from these centuries. Great job, Junior. Look at you. 
You've got a knack for this. Yeah, game runs great as well. No performance issues. Feels very polished. The objective is clean. Wow. Marta and Emma who live here send their gratitude and have invited you back tonight. Ha ha. Uh, will you take me with you? Look, okay, here's Go to the mine. There are two more houses. Only, Junior, no need to rush. My ex lives with her new freak in the back house. Well, you understand. Let them get nervous. Okay, so perhaps I'm not supposed to power those up anywhere around here. He said go to the mine. That's just what I'm going to do.
checkpoint before I hit this guy. Almost everything is complete. There is only the last home. With, uh, my ex. Junior? Uh, y y you you can take a break. What? Everything here is in order. Return to the teleport hub. Go to the portal. Really? Oh, nice. It's right here. That's what I was to say. Do I have to run back? No, but that leaves me with a question now. Was I? Am I supposed to... Because there's these buttons to open these. There's probably looting stuff in there. I don't know. Buildings. So I'm just gonna go out the teleport and see what happens. Listen, Junior, is the capsule with your body at Orpheus One Station now? Then I have some bad news. Information was received about the hacking and infection of all orbital servers of the Orpheus class. Security robots and technical shells have gone crazy. They're killing everyone in their path. And after the robots deal with the station personnel, they will begin to destroy hibernation capsules with the bodies of the operators. Your real body, Junior, can be torn to pieces at any time. So now you have to save yourself. You do not need to return to the body. You can't argue with robots. Take this shell to the station and hurry up. Your time is running out. I will light your way. Alright, well I think I'm going to end the video right there. It's a pretty impressive game. It's the best game I've played in a while, I'll say that much. So thank you so much as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you're new to my channel and you're interested in VR or gaming in general, be sure to subscribe to my channel for all of my latest updates in the future. Thank you once again. Till next time. Peace.